It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Heartwarming comedy, Instant Family. I'd like to welcome Margo Martindale and Julie Haggerty. Hi, thank you so much for joining Hi. us today. Yep. Good morning. Good morning, our pleasure. Now, let's take a short trip down memory lane because the both of you have done some wonderful work over the years. I'd love to learn a little bit about how it all started. Now, uh, Julie, you played Elaine Dickinson in the 1980 film comedy Airplane. Not only was your character a lead character, but she was also your very first film role? Yes, it was. My very first film role. Yeah, yeah. I um, was doing off, 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 off Broadway in New York, and uh, Gretchen Rennell from Paramount saw the uh, my play and invited me to audition for it, and I auditioned for it, and I got the part. <laughs> So. That was paramount? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. It all comes around. Yes, it does. Full circle. <laughs> and, you know, Airplane became widely regarded as one of the best films in 1980. When you did the film, did you expect it to do as well as it did? No. I did, you know, it was my first film and uh, first big job, and I didn't think about anything except for just the work <laughs> itself and no the, the aftermath was just a lovely surprise yeah that it did so well okay so fun fact uh when i first saw the film technically i wasn't old enough to watch it or i, I wasn't allowed to watch it just yet because i was so young <laughs> and um you know, later on, later on, I was able to watch the whole film in its entirety. But I remember when I was younger, um, I got caught watching the movie by my mom, and it was at that it was at that part where the inflatable <laughs> pilot came on, and it became it was a little bit inappropriate. <laughs> oh. Otto, Otto, yes, he's, he's doing great. <laughs> yeah, Otto. Oh. Otto. Yeah. No, my grandma Haggerty, I was so excited to be in a movie, but my grandma Haggerty said, Are you ever going to make a nice movie? So, <laughs> so. Uh, now, Margo, earlier in your career, you've been on stage along with. Christopher Reeves, Jonathan Frakes, uh, Kathy Bates, before the four of you became famous. Now, what was that like to work with them on stage before the fame? Uh, <laughs> just like working with um, any actor on stage, really. You know, uh, we had a great time, except the boys were so beautiful, both of them. Yes. Uh, Chris and uh, yes. Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I could only imagine oh, with those baby, baby blue eyes. <laughs> I just watched him the other night in something and he was so great. I can't remember mm. what it was. Mm. So beautiful. Beautiful. Do you still keep in touch with Jonathan Frakes or Kathy Bates? Uh, Bates I keep in touch with. Jonathan occasionally emails me. Yeah. Now, over the years, you've done a wide range of different film and TV roles. Now, is there any one role in particular that you kind of hold close to your heart and have the fondest memories of? Oh, uh, you know, so so many uh, so many different ones. Uh, uh, but I, I think the part that changed my career. I mean, lots of them did different things to my career. But, uh, uh, I mean, changed it in some way. But the one that really did put me in another whole world was uh, Justified on FX. Oh, that's yeah. so good. That's uh, so good. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a, just a great, great, great part for, for me. And uh, that's something I did for Alexander Payne called Parisia Tam, a fr little French movie I did that he wrote for me. Uh, another highlight. Now, the, the two of you play two of the sweetest grandmas <laughs> in the heartwarming comedy, Instant Family. Oh. I laughed, I cried, it was such a great movie. <laughs> now, experiencing the film might be a bit different for you when you watch it on screen because you acted in it. But 
what was your reaction when you watched it for the very first time in its finis finished product on well, screen? Well, my reaction was that, oh my, I just thought it was magnificently perfect in its tone mm -hmm. and in its organic, real comedy and in its heart. Uh, and I, I, I watched it just like you watch it. I watched it as an audience and I, I sobbed. Yes. I laughed hysterically, uh, and uh, I, uh, it made me so proud to be part of it. So proud. So proud of, about, oh, I didn't really think about, the, I loved the movie so much when I, when I read it, and, uh, but I, it was afterwards that the real depth mm. of the fact that these children need love, need homes, and there are adults that need that love. And how many? Uh, around 700,000 in the children in the foster care system last year. And so, so it even makes us prouder to be part of something that brings awareness to this. And, and, uh, and, the hopes that finding homes for these children. And we had the most wonderful time, all of us, making this film. Right. Which uh, yeah. came from our, it comes from the top. And it's an important movie because it brings, uh, it brings awareness to uh, the children in the foster care system that mm -hmm. I don't think that I wasn't, I didn't Aware know of. enough about. Yeah. But I think that it's open, uh, it, it could, it could open the eyes of so many people yes. just seeing this movie. Yes. And yeah. it's also a movie that you can watch with, from your grandchild with your grandpa, the whole family can Absolute. watch this movie together and enjoy it, which is unusual yeah. that you have a film where everyone can sit down and, and watch it together. It's a big hearted family movie. Yes, indeed. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I absolutely love the movie. You know, I, I teared up a little bit, and before I did the interview, oh, I so told myself sweet. I wasn't going to get emotional. Oh, I understand. <laughs> we feel the same way. Yes, we do. Yes. Well, wonderful, wonderful work, and, you know, unfortunately, we are out of time. But again, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. And here it, it is. Here it is, and it opens. You can buy it today. And you know what? I'm very much looking forward to checking out the uh, director's commentary and the special features. Great. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Margot, Thanks, Julie, Lori. thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.